In this video, I'm gonna attempt that awesome TikTok challenge where people paint on a piece of paper and create the illusion that it's not even there. I've gotta try and paint away the paper. Ah, oh, this is so hard. I'm gonna go insane. Every now and then, we actually leave the studio. So it's time to pack our bag and not just any bag, the best bag in the world that I am kickstarting. Go check it out on Kickstarter right now. We're just gonna go paint some cool stuff and you'll see how awesome it is by the fact that I'm taking my studio with me. Let's go on an excursion. All right, I have my canvases, my easel, and it's a bright sunny day. That's potentially a challenge because the light's gonna move in obvious ways that might make painting a place frozen in time hard as time passes when I'm painting. Also filming, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm looking for a place that's reasonably sheltered because I want to avoid light moving too much too visibly. I also don't want something too high traffic because as much as I love showing off, I don't like social interactions and it will be harder if too many people are passing behind what I'm painting. we found our first location. Now this is what they don't show you in the TikTok videos. You just see the illusion and it looking really cool, but there's a camera and there's a person painting and it's painted for the camera, not for the person painting. So I have to set this up with a camera between me and my subject. And I have to position the subject as perfectly as possible. Setting up was really finicky and it was just making me super aware of all the minor imperfections that were gonna make this really hard. When there was a strong enough breeze, the thing I was painting on was gonna wobble. If I put any pressure on it, I might move it, which would dislodge the entire position of the illusion, which is kind of not the point. Uh... Uh, there is so much variable stuff going on. The light's changing, the wind's going, there's reflections, there's... Oh no! Oh my god, look how wobbly that is! That's terrible! Oh no, okay. I have an idea, this is very stupid. We, stra we strap this to the tripod. Is that bearable? Okay, I think we're set up. Now, in fact, this is the perfect example. The goal is, I want this to end up looking like this, so that, let's say, if Vaughn walks across the bridge, it looks like this. This was awful. Every st oh my God, this was so, so bad and hard. All the problems rise to the surface. One of which was working with acrylic paints. Now that was a rookie mistake because especially with the open air, this stuff was drying up quick, which meant no blending on the surface of the canvas. And it meant that the paint was drying in the palette sometimes before I even got a chance to use it. The biggest problems, of course, were when it came to what I was working on. I had to reach forward far enough that I had no stability. Add to that the lack of depth perception because I had to look at the camera to know where my brush was going, but I didn't know how far away the brush was from the thing that I was painting. Oh, and the light, and then the not light, and then the light again, then the too much light, and the I had to keep revisiting areas I'd painted to try and rematch the color to the way the light had changed. <laughs> Ah, uh, this was, uh, this was educational. I'm learning. Okay, let's see if there's a half decent illusion. There? We have to go back to square one, back to the studio, because I need to re-figure out how to do this. It ain't working to be this far away from such a small painting. I've nothing to lean on, there's no stability, and this reference is so hard to see. So if I can nail the setup in controlled conditions, then we'll come back out again and give it another go. If in doubt, go back to the originals and pick it apart. This is the kind of one that was a huge part of 
the inspiration. Look how overcast it is. Like you look through behind the trees to the sky, it's just a huge blanket of clouds. So the light is really consistent, even though this is filmed outdoors. That camera is not super close to what's being filmed. The thing I'm most perplexed by is the filming setup because these do not look like wide angle shots. If anything, they look zoomed in and there's enough room for the hand to move around and to paint. But to see and paint the detail, they've got to be close to it. Oh God. What have we learned? One, need consistent lighting. Two, I need to rethink my filming setup so I can paint with some level of accuracy and comfort and maintaining the illusion. Let's go figure it out. With a custom petite palette ready to go, it was time to prepare my paints and sit down and see if I could create this illusion in a more controlled environment. Not only is it tricky to accurately represent proportion and perspective, add to that the fact that you have to really accurately color match and match lighting and depth and do it without bumping anything, which isn't my strong suit. Now, while this was really challenging, once I sort of blocked out the core areas, it sort of became a little bit paint by numbers. It did, however, make it really really apparent that painting inorganic rigid areas with strong clean lines is also really challenging to make look good. With that said, there were times looking at the monitor where I legitimately at a glance couldn't see where the square I was painting on went. Oh no, I bumped it. Okay, this is the, this is the test. You ready? Do you know that's not, that's not bad. I can't really see the square and, yeah. What? <laughs> that works really well. That's kind of uncanny. You know what I need to do? Be really mature. <laughs> okay, all right, you ready? Ah! Ow! My head! The point is, the proof of concept is, is proven. If we can have even enough and controllable enough lighting and more organic environments to paint, I might nail this. Let's jump to tomorrow and pack. I'm really excited about the Kickstarter running right now. We have 30 days to hit my goal to bring my ultimate creator focused bags to life, the Carry All Studio. So if you have a lot of stuff you want to carry with you, the Carry All Studio will handle everything you can throw at it. If you have more humble carrying needs, you can get the Carry All Light, or of course you could get both for a really great price. On top of that, I'm also doing a backing tier where you can get both packed full of $100 worth of art materials for a lot cheaper. And that's the reward that will get access to our stretch goals, which will be revealed if we can hit our funding goal. So go to the Kickstarter today and check out the Carry All Studio. Made of durable, attractive, high quality materials available in a variety of really nice colors. Both bags can be carried in backpack mode or as a messenger bag or in a briefcase style. Both also come with removable marker holders. I've spent over a year carefully thinking about all of the materials, all of the compartments and fine tuning it to perfection. You can actually watch that journey in a vlog series if you want to see how they came to fruition. But more importantly, you can see all the details of all of these bags with a link in the description to my Kickstarter. We only have 30 days to make this happen. I know you're going to love these bags. And please consider pledging and helping bringing these to life. Speaking of bringing to life, we got an art challenge to do. I think I'm feeling the small stylish gray for this one. And with my fingers crossed for the Kickstarter, it's time to move on to cross my fingers for and take on the challenge of this illusion. Out in the real world again, but taking all the lessons we've learned and packing the materials we need to pull it off one last time in the most effective and awesome way possible. We need to find the right balance. Cemetery? Ooh, actually. Cemetery. It doesn't feel right. I don't think I should do this. <laughs> this is getting into Logan Paul territory. <laughs> Once the deceased are involved, one must be respectful and not make content. Oh, I think this is it. Look at that, how cool is that? The problem is we're on a highway. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing to do is to turn a problem into an opportunity. <gasps> the cars all disappear in the illusion! Let's do it. Oh, that's good. That's good! We may have cracked it, he said confidently before having started.
Oh no. All right, so we got a problem. I th I'm gonna have to start again because I, I need to do this right. The sun's come out. I've painted this for a more overcast sky and now it's too light. Oh, this is so annoying. I thought I had it. I have to, I just ate oil paint. Oh good, oh boy. This is going really well. Oh, this is so hard. This was almost perfect. Oh, I'm gonna go insane. We're gonna have victory or nothing. Let's start again. It's all right. It hurts. It's all right, it does. It hurts me more than it hurts you. Let's try this one last. adjusting it halfway through, which is gonna bugger the time lapse, but I've just gotta turn it away from the glisten of the sun. It's not over yet. Okay, all right, let's keep going. reveals for this one are going to be a bit different because I'm just going to show the full time lapse and then we're just going to see if the teleportation trick works. I think I made an illusion. Let me know in the comments if this looks cool. What do you reckon? Oh, and what about this? Hello, that's one way to cross the road. Now, that's cool and all, but the real fun is the fact that I can make up whatever I want to fill in this interdimensional gap in space. So let's do something a bit more fun. And that was an adventure. Now, I did learn that if the light keeps shifting, it makes it really, really bloody hard. If everything's really inorganically shaped, it's pretty hard. But if you can find the Goldilocks and paint quickly enough, you can get some pretty cool results. It's a really tricky illusion to nail. And I think I could have done it more impressively if we had like really consistent overcast sky. So let me know in the comments if you want to see me give this a really good go when we have great weather and what twists we can add to make our illusions really fun and quirky. Otherwise, this has been so much fun. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and make sure to go check out my Kickstarter. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit scared, but I know that the bags are incredible and I really hope we can get them off the ground. Link's in the description and you would make my dream come true if we can reach our funding goal. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.